Next, I would like to introduce Dr. Krishna Mohan Jibbe, Assistant Professor, Mar Vesalius College of Engineering and Technology. He is a theoretical chemist who researched, explores the field of computational nanoscience and modeling studies. He is the developer, developer of DJ Mode, an open source computational modeling platform. This is indeed a special year to commemorate the late Professor Dr. A. Hisham, as Dr. Krishna Mohan has decided, dedicated his uh, project to Professor Hisham, who was an inspiration to him at the early years of his academia. And now I welcome Dr. Krishna Mohan to take over the session. So please. Uh, thank you, Miss. I hope uh, everyone is uh, I'm audible now. Am I audible now? Yes, yes. But you switch on your video. We would like to see you. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, uh, thanks, colleagues. Okay, now I switch off video. Okay. Is it appear now? My presentation. Yes, yes. We put it in the presentation now. Okay. Well, I hope it is working now. It's put not. It. It's not. It's not in the full screen. Also. You can see it. If you want, you can continue like this. I just try to read. In my screen, I am seeing the. Uh, it's okay. okay. You can just uh, present it this way. Okay. It's not coming. That way. You don't waste time. Okay. Uh, you can click the slides and show. Please. Okay. So I'm Krishna Mohan, now currently as working as an assistant professor in uh, Mar Basilis College of Engineering and Technology, Trivandrum. And uh, this talk is about uh, an open source program called DGM. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> uh, first of all, I thank uh, Kerala Academy of Science for an uh, invitation and uh, Dr. Ramesh uh, from TBGRI and uh, Dr. DM Sa and Alpha Teacher uh, for her uh, motivation. And uh, my short introduction, I got uh, BSc uh, from University College, where I met Hisham sir. And uh, then I took my MSc in Physical Chemistry from School of Chemical Science in the University of Kerala. Then I took my PhD uh, from University of Nyden, Netherlands. Then I took uh, two postdocs from post uh, from South Korea and IAST. IAST is uh, in Kerala. Then I worked in uh, IIITMK and NIST, uh, where I discontinued my research. Then uh, I moved to Nurul Aslam University as well. Uh, I also have got some projects from Google, uh, NVIDIA, BST Fast Track, and IKST. Actually, DJ model is belongs to uh, IKST. I, I made this program for IKST. Uh, the most important point is I dedicate this project to Dr. Abdul uh, Kavar Hisham, sir. Uh, actually, uh, he didn't teach me at uh, class. I was I studied my BSc in University College, and uh, my classroom was near to his office. So I used to talk with him, and uh, he he was a very good storyteller. He was a very good storyteller, and he told many stories about science, chemistry, everything, almost everything. Uh, so he was a very good mentor of mine. Uh, so he really motivated me to do PhD in abroad, not in India. So. I really dedicate this program uh, to Dr. Hisham. And uh, why I initiated this project? Actually, there are many uh, computational chemistry software or computational physics software are available, uh, mostly in the commercial field. Uh, from using that software, you can do material science modeling, nanoscience modeling, and uh, molecular modeling. Okay. Uh, but the problem is this if you go to material science field, uh, there are less softwares are available, especially uh, I, you could find very few uh, open source software. So I really want to initiate a, an open source program in material science. So this is the real uh, project motivation. Um, in essence, DJMOL is a layman's material studio. A material studio um, is a very commercial or very expensive software for uh, uh, molecular modeling and uh, material science modeling. And what you're seeing is the uh, screenshot of material studio. Okay. And here you can see uh, the scripting. Actually, they use a pale language for scripting, and uh, you can generate a lot of molecules, uh, crystalline structure, extended system, etc. Okay. It's available uh, mainly in Windows operating system. And uh, this is DJ mode. 
So DJ Mulk currently is available in the Windows version, and uh, you can uh, there are five pieces. Yes, slides are not available. Sorry. Yes, slides are not available. Are you? Oh, okay, that's fine. All right. If you could manually move them, it would be uh, convenient. So this is now. Now you can see, right? Yes, sir. So these are the some data uh, generated from DJMOL. Uh, this is uh, actually a Mullikan population analysis of TNG, and uh, uh, you can uh, convert a lot of uh, file formats in DJMOL. For example, you can convert the Cartesian uh, geometry to Z matrix, etc. Uh, so more than hundred file types are supporting uh, with the DJMOL. And you can generate a lot of structure. What you are seeing is the gold nanoparticle uh, using spherical symmetry. Okay, so there are some libraries, and uh, it generates a uh, lot of structures. One of the advantages of uh, uh, DJMOL is that it, is, it supports Python scripting, and Python is a computer language. It is mostly widely used in uh, compu computation science or scientific programming nowadays. So DJMOL support Python, and using Python, you can do a lot of stuff. And there's a uh, database libraries available, so you can you can download a lot of molecules and a lot of crystals. Uh, there are millions of molecules are available in database, so you can get all these structures using DJ without any interface. And you can also perform molecular dynamics. Uh, so these are the energy variation of a molecular dynamics run. So you can study the variation of uh, structure, evolution of uh, uh, dynamics, uh, potential energy change, total energy change. Uh, I told you there is a Python scripting, so it's a window of uh, Python scripting in DJMO, and you can also uh, you can also generate UV visible spectra uh, using TDDFT. Okay. So this is a, a sample UV visible spectrum of uh, uh, DFTB calculation, and you can also generate uh, band structure of metals, crystalline objects, etc. And of course, you can also study molecular orbitals. Uh, molecules, and you can also explore potential energy surface. Potential. Energy. And uh, recently, uh, I have got a publication in the Journal of Computational Chemistry about this software. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, this is the first scientific software uh, from Caroline Chemical Science. Um, yeah, I tell you, software, not program. Okay, so this is the first scientific software. And uh, one attraction of DJMOL is that this is open source. Okay, so open source means uh, actually uh, to make a software, you, you have to write a lot of programs, okay, uh, source code, and it is free. It is free means it is available uh, without any cost, and anybody can refer or anybody can modify the source code, the program. So, so it is a, it is a really an open source program, okay, and it is GPL licensed, and it is one of the most popular licenses. So DJMOL is actually a GPL software. Uh, what are the advantages of open source? So if you if you if you're a computer chemist, for example, you, you can use uh, Gaussian. The problem of Gaussian is that it is a black box problem. And uh, I know people are using Gaussian a lot in their publication, publishing a lot, but uh, actually the Gaussian is a black box problem. So nobody knows, I mean most of the people don't know uh, about the source code of Gaussian. So, for example, if you ask the question, which algorithm they use to find point group symmetry or molecular orbital or vibrational modes, uh, they don't know. So, for example, uh, uh, in other words, for example, if you ask which method Gaussian used to diagnose a Hamiltonian, most of the people don't know, okay, because the source code is completely closed. It's not open. So, it's like a black box. Uh, so, in DJMOL, we never use any black box uh, program. We always use open source. And uh, uh, using, uh, using free and open source software, uh, there's a lot of collaboration I made. I made a collaboration with uh, Bremen uh, University, and uh, I included an engine uh, from Bremen University. This is the, this is the default uh, engine of uh, DJMOL. I also included many code from University of Notre Dame, USA, and uh, Barcelona University, etc. All engines in DJMOL are open source. And you can download this uh, program uh, from the GitHub. 
DJML program dot github dot io. From this uh, website, you can get source code and uh, uh, executable. And uh, currently, uh, you you get only in Windows version, and we are working for Linux version. And there is also some demo videos are uploaded in YouTube. Just uh, go to YouTube and type DJML, and you get uh, our channel. And uh, there are some demos. Okay. Now, uh, so demo time. Uh, so I have less time, so uh, I, I, I choose only three uh, demos. One is database in DJMOD, and symmetry analysis, and uh, finally UV visible spectrum of caffeine. And if you have some comments, uh, you please uh, mail to krishna.mohan at mbcg.in. Now I show the DJMOD program. Are you seeing the window, the software window? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is actually a interface of uh, DJML program. So this is the file uh, menu, edit menu, view, source, setup, run. And here you can see there are two engines are supported here, DFTB. Uh, it is an approximate DFT uh, method. And CSA is one of the DFT methods. Run, execute, team, tools. And these are analyzers, uh, data analyzers, extra data analyzers here. And, uh, here you can see the DJML software is licensed under the GNU public license version 3. So it is one of the most uh, popular, uh, it has one of the most popular licenses. Okay. So first I open a structure. So I, maybe I can open WinC here. So this is the text file, or XYZ file here. You can see uh, carbons are there, six carbons are there, and uh, six hydrogens are there. This is the uh, this vector is uh, nothing but X coordinate. This is Y coordinate, and this is the uh, Z coordinate. Okay. So this is the XYZ file, and now we can see the benzene. Okay. So it supports uh, Cartesian coordinate by default. So what you are seeing is the benzene mode. Okay. Now uh, maybe we can analyze the point group symmetry of benzene. The point group symmetry is very important uh, analysis tool in the diagram because it's support. It, uh, it uh, uh, simplifies a lot of calculations, uh, especially in MO analysis and the vibration analysis. Okay. So there is a point group uh, symmetry series here. Now you can find out point group symmetry. Okay. Now it found a point group symmetry of benzene. And you can see that it found point group. This is DC, D6H. Okay. And uh, here you can see a lot of planes and a lot of uh, 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 point group elements like C2, 3, F6, etc. Anyway, so it correctly found the point group. And it has elements E, C3, F3, sigma, P6, F6, I, inverse, C2, etc. Okay. And you can also project, um, and it also found some subgroups. Okay, D6H is the point group symmetry, but it also found uh, the uh, subgroups like C6, V, D3H, etc. And you can also project this geometry to its subgroups. Okay, so it is one of the a primary demo of DJMOL. So using DJMOL, you can analyze a lot of uh, symmetry properties of model. Then, uh, I go for uh, database tool. So there is a database tool in available in uh, DJMOL. You see database tool, you can download a lot of molecules. There are millions of molecules are available, and it is also uploaded in, uh, uh, regularly in uh, many databases. So you can, you can fetch uh, structure of molecules, uh, either molecule structure or crystalline structure. Okay. Now I demonstrate, for example, if you type paracetamol here, it will download the structure of paracetamol. This is the paracetamol. Okay. So you can also any uh, English name here, or you can also use uh, systematic chemical names here. So it will go. Uh, the DJML will connect to server, and it will download uh, the structure. Okay. So it's one of the basic uh, basic utility of DJML. So you don't want to go to Google and search uh, 
uh, the, the structure. Okay, so it has a database connectivity tool, and it will automatically connect to server, and it will fetch the structure. Okay, so I'm quite sure that any uh, everyone is uh, familiar with the ball and stick model. So these are the carbon atoms, uh, the oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen. Okay. Now. I will go for a real calculation. So my aim is to calculate UV visible spectrum of caffeine. And caffeine is an alkaloid, uh, so it has some uh, properties of there. So it actually, it's a colorless compound. So we will we will we will try to simulate the UV visible spectrum of caffeine. Okay. So first, you have to open the file. This uh, file for uh, caffeine. Okay. So this is a caffeine, and this is the DFTB input of caffeine. So it uh, it is the structure file. Okay. So caffeine has 24 atoms are there. So what you are seeing is the X, Y, Z positions of uh, atoms in caffeine. Okay. Then uh, I defined uh, basics of Hamilton in here. I am not going. To the details and uh, I asked Digimol to calculate UV visible spectra. This is the this is the syntax for that. Okay. So so we will try to mimic or simulate uh, the UV visible spectrum of uh, caffeine. Now the structure is loaded. So you just want to uh, run the script. Okay. So you can use uh, run DFTB plus here. And here you can see. The calculation is coming and now it is finished. It's a very fast calculation. I used very uh, less uh, quality parameters uh, to save time. So now it is finished. Uh, calculation is finished. Okay. And uh, this result was here. The calculated result was put here. So this is the yes, diagram. And we can visualize the UV visible spectrum. Okay, now you got a UV visible spectrum, and here I used the EV. Because uh, DJMOL really support material science uh, calculations, so we use EV not nanometer, but you can convert into nanometer. Be blocked. Okay. Now you got an approximate UV visible spectrum of caffeine. Okay. So here, in blue lines are nothing but oscillator strength. Okay. These are the oscillator strength, and uh, these red lines is nothing but convolution. Convolution, sorry. Okay. So, uh, so if you take the experimental uh, UV visible spectrum, you will get uh, a spectrum like this. Okay. And this is the far UV. So generally, don't they don't print it. So, in this way, you can generate UV visible spectrum of uh, any compound. Okay. It's in detail. So this is my very short introduction to DJMOL. And uh, you can also analyze molecular orbitals of uh, uh, any organic compounds or inorganic compounds. And uh, you can also perform CSTA calculation. And CSTA is a, a DFT engine. So uh, it will, it will uh, give more accurate results. Okay. So what you did is, uh, what I showed here is a DFTB calculation. This is approximate DFT calculation. So it's very fast. within. Within within uh, one minute or two minutes, you can uh, calculate uh, quite complex spectra. So it's all, it's all about uh, my presentation now. If you have some queries, uh, you just uh, please ask me. Now. Thanks. It's over. So if you have some doubts or some queries, uh, please ask me. Thank you, uh, Krishna Bokhan, for uh, the excellent presentation of DJ Mo. Uh, I'm sure that this is a great tribute to 
pay tribute to Dr. Hishab. Thank you very much for joining us. And Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for creating and sharing this invaluable tool to the world of science.